So we are here in sunny London. The weather is finally nice for change. Just getting a quick fuel inside me. We've got a tuna melt. Today we are training with celebrity trainer Bradley Simmons. Very much looking forward to this. Um, he looks a bit of a beast. He does a lot of online training for lots of different people. The movement he wants to learn is a snatch. So any of you who are interested in learning the Olympic movement, the snatch, this will be a good video for you. And then we're going to finish with a nasty uh, partner workout. It's going to be a very tasty workout and this is also going to be very tasty. Ah. Ah, it's also very hot. <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> Silverback, we are here at CrossFit Royal Docks, and today we have celebrity trainer, front cover men's health star Bradley Simmons. Welcome, brother. Yes, mate. Glad thanks to for be being here. on the channel. No, thanks for inviting me, mate. I'm looking forward to learning a few things from yourself. Yeah, yeah. what sort of training do you normally do? It's very different to like CrossFit, what I'm used to. Yeah, so I'm all about high intensity, uh, and then I'll do some strength stuff. So it's high intensity or strength, but I know CrossFit, you kind of combine it together. Yeah, Cross is a mashup of yeah, everything. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm excited to give it a go, mate. Why not? Wicked. Um, we always try and get the guests to pick one or two exercises that they want to learn. So, what is the exercise that you want to work on within CrossFit that you'd like to? Yeah. Improve? So before COVID, I was working on my snatches. Felt like I was improving. Obviously, the gym's closed. Things just completely died. So I was yeah. just focused on high intensity training, which my followers and my subscribers wanted. So I'd love to get back into doing some snatches. All right. Snatch is a sexy-looking movement. It's very technical, hard to learn, but. I reckon you're gonna smash it. So we're gonna start with snatch, then we're gonna hit a partner workout. Right, okay, so snatch, we're gonna start with uh, the grip. So we've got a PVC pipe. So to find where you wanna have the correct snatch grip, you want your arms totally straight, shoulders relaxed, and you want the barbell or PVC pipe directly in your hips. So if I was to lean over, yeah. it's directly in my hips, you can hold it. You can hold it. If I was going too narrow, it's too low. If I was going too wide, it's too high. Okay. Yeah, so once you've got that roughly for me, that's where I hold the bar. And if you put it down, that's exactly where I hold the bar yeah. from here. So just hold the fingers of the pipe, down nice and tall, back straight. Is that under your hip bone again? Yeah. Hip bone there. Yeah, perfect. Okay? Yeah, good. So that's really important to grip. So if you transfer that down to there, so keep it where it is in the PVC pipe, that's where you want to be gripping the bar. So just in between here? Yeah, perfect. So if you have it too narrow, you're going to make too low contact on your legs, which will drive the bar out. If it's too wide, it's going to be too high up. So really important that you stick with that. So let me see you over the spot with that uh, PVC pipe. So keep that head up. Yeah, good. Yeah. And when you're over squat, you want to make sure that PVC pipe's directly above your head, so you don't want it too far back. Okay, so yours is perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There, 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 there. Yeah, there, yeah, good. So you do need that mobility, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel my shoulders screaming. <laughs> like, oh, it's good. So a really good exercise to warm up. When you may doing it, make sure that bar's not lift with your head. You don't want to look down, because if you look down, your body follows you. Yeah. So keep that head up, nice and low, back straight, chest up, fully lock those arms out. Just do another six. The depth from the squat's perfect. Weight's going into the heel, which is good. So even though it's like an easy warm exercise, you've got to make sure yeah, you're doing true. every rep yeah. yeah. that good form. Oh, really? You smash through the PVC pipe. Um, like I said, if you're struggling to get either full depth on your squat or you're in that position, just stick with the PVC pipe before you even go to the barbell. You want to make sure that that movement is perfect. If it's not perfect with that light PVC pipe, then there's no point going to the barbell. All right, over squats with the barbell. So remember, let's check that grip. So stand up with it. Yeah, you stand up, make sure it's in your hips. Okay, good head. Okay, right, so five over squats again. So now, so you see that bar move yeah, forward? Yeah, so you to maintain. Yeah, push it out. There you go, nice, nice. I can help two people do 100k with this. Two more. So you can see now the bar's got a little bit of weight. That bar wants to transfer forward, so you've got to make sure you really keep that upright. Yeah. So look straight up, chest up, and then fully lock those arms out. Another thing is when you're holding the bar, I want to make sure you hold some good hook grip. So it hurts your thumbs to start with, but your thumb and then fingers over your thumbs. Okay. So the reason you do that is if you pull the, like say if I'm snatching 130, that's a lot stronger grip than what that is. Okay. So you've got less chance of falling out your hand. Good. Two more. <sighs> nice, bro. Good. How's that feel? Do you know what? I think I'm so tired of my neck. 
and my back, yeah. that is like, it's like, it's yeah, it's like tough. Yeah, so you up. definitely have to work on your mobility, don't you? Yeah, yeah 100%. How much mobility are you doing? I do probably about an hour every day. Hour every day, well, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm not doing that at all. Yeah. So the biggest thing where people find snatch hard is mobility. Yeah, of course. It's not like so much the technique, it's just getting into the positions. Yeah. <laughs> going out to the warm up. Sweating. Feeling pumped. <laughs> so I'll show you what we're going to do first, just in full motion. So from here, yeah, so breaking that down, so you always start with your feet and your hips, that's the most powerful position. Hips, yeah. yeah. So bar nice and close to your shins, yeah. shoulders over the bar, back straight chest up. Yeah. All you're gonna do to start with is three of loading the hamstrings, it's called the first pull, and then back down. And again, so that'd be just two. So you can see my body position not changing. Yeah. I'm just bringing the bar to my knees, keep nice and close to the body. Okay, and now you just load the hamstrings and push the knees back. Yes, but see how that gap was, you want to keep that bar yeah. close to your shins. Yeah, yeah just slow it down a little bit. Slow, slow it right down. Yeah. Even so, so, go three times as slow. Yeah. One. Two, slower. Slower. There you go, good. When you're in that bottom position, you want to literally, you can see how about my shins are all like scarred yeah. up. That, from that. That's because they keep it so close to oh, my shins. Yes, yeah, so you literally want to drag up your, your shins. All well, your heels are, your heels are to come off. Uh, no, keep your foot, so your foot, what your weight wants to be in the middle of your foot, yeah. so not on your toes, not on your heels. Mm -hmm. Middle of your foot, so you're literally pushing your knees back whilst dragging the bar up your shins, yeah. and then back down, so you load all your hamstrings and your glutes. Yeah. again. Yeah, so I want you to slow right down, okay. start with the bar really close to your shins, perfect, and now come up, yep, yeah. slow again. Slow down. Yep, yeah. so you want to go that slow on the way up, slow. Yep, yeah. so you want to try and get about a four second cap before you get to your knees. One, two, three, four, one more. <laughs> and then keep it close. One, two, three, four, perfect. You're doing it perfectly. Your body is in a really good position all the way through. So you're not losing shape like that, or you're not lifting your chest up. That body position is staying the same, and you're just loading the hamstrings. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you want. So from here, you're going to load the hamstrings exactly the same, and then drag up your thighs, and I just want you to come onto your toes. Yeah, load the hamstrings, yeah, drag up your thighs, and your toes. On the toes? Yeah. But as soon as it passes your knees, you've got to make sure you drag up your thighs. So there can't be a gap between your thighs and the bar. So from here again. Yeah, so nice and slow. slow, slow. As soon as you pass your knees, up your thighs. Up the thighs, like scrape the thighs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so as soon as you pass your knees, you've got that much of a gap. Okay. Go again. Nice slow, nice slow. There you go. <sighs> if you leave a gap, when you come into here, the bar is already in front, and then you're going to miss the snap tap forward. Okay. So you've got to make wow. sure here, and then you drag it up and then you extend from there. Drag it fine, there you go, good. But then that's how you stop yourself from going forward. Uh, yeah. Just when you, when you extend here, just lean back a little bit. Lean back a little bit. Yeah. Just do two more then. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, one more. Perfect. So now, exactly the same thing, but now it's called triple extension, so you, Ankles, hips, and shoulders all on a shoulder at the same time. Back straight, chest up, head up, yep. Yeah, nice, good. Right, so now, your feet starting here. Triple extension, and then you're gonna move your feet wider and then catch in that position. But you wanna get as much power and pull from that position, and then you drop into the bar. Yeah, nice, good. There you go. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah? Look at the kids in there. Good. Should you get 20 plates? Yeah, let's give it a go. Who's up for it? Straight from 60 kilos, though. 60 kilos, though. Because I'm in there. There you go. Was I too far away, though? No, so if you bring it down, you like see how you hit your knees? Yeah. That's because you stayed in this position and then just lifted up. Okay. Your knees so stayed just, there. I was relying on my body. Yeah, so remember that first pull? Yeah. Everything stays the same, you've got to load the hamstrings, push the knees back, bring it up. Yeah, better. Yeesh, come forward. Yeah, yeah. I've had to rescue that. <laughs> so we're doing 30 kg here. There you go, better. Nice. Very good. Go. Perfect. Keep yeah, the light so we can move. Yeah, everything's got to be like spot on. Like the first pull's got to be right. You can't have the bar too far away. So you've really got to focus before every set, like just thinking your head right, keep the bar close. Yeah. 
triple extension, weight in heels, bar yeah. head. The eight steps you just need to yeah, remind time. yourself. Of. Yeah. Your steps have been a lot easier to make it better. Time. Yeah. I think I rushed it to before. Yeah. And I couldn't understand it. So yeah, that's like that's that's been a of snaps. People always try and like just throw on the weight. Yeah. And you can get to like six, seven kilos, which you've probably got the strength for, but your technique is going to be yeah. bullshit. So the risk of injury is higher, and then you're just practicing bad technique. But um, yeah, you smashed it. Yeah, there we go. Like 15 minutes just left. 15 snatch. minutes. Good. I'm going to carry on now in the gym, in the garden. It took me like four months. Next time you see me, mate, I'll be at 100, 100 kilos. 100 kilos. Oh, you no, tagged me in a post. 140 kilos, man. I'll be taking you on. <laughs> right. Workout time. Right, so the workout is going to be a partner workout. So me and Bradley are working as a team to complete this as fast as possible. So it starts with 50 calorie bike. So I might do 10 calories, swap Bradley will do 10, and we keep going until we hit 50 calories. The burpees have to be synchro, so we've got to do 25 together at the same time. So chest to floor at the same time, and stand up, hands above the same time. Then 50 calorie row, again split up however we want. 25 synchro burpees. 50 calorie ski erg, again split up, 25 synchro burpees, 50 war balls, 25 synchro burpees. So that is a proper sweat fest. That is nice, mate. How long will that take us? Uh, ooh, two. It's gonna be, if we get it under 20 minutes, that'd be pretty, so that's a great pretty good going. for anyone that just wants a quick. Yeah, if you want to do that on your own, it'd be absolutely solid then. Or you just do 25 calories on bike, wouldn't you? Or just do 25 calories, yeah, but I'd probably say still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but if, you are, if you're watching and you want to grab your training part and give this a go, it's a great little workout. All the machine and war balls split however you want. So you don't have to split them in tens. Um, you could get one partner to do all 50 calorie bike if you wanted to, but I wouldn't suggest it. Um, and then you and your partner working together to finish this as fast as possible. So we'll see if you can beat our time. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, I'm going to get right in my bag. Uh, why you going to try to get mad? Uh, Keep up, uh, but you know I move too fast. Uh, I'ma zip zip right past. Uh, drip drip all on my swag. Uh, why you tryna size me up? Uh, you don't wanna try your luck. Uh, how does a stove? What did you know? Burn like coal, yeah, you know I go. Way too hot, yeah, I really too cold. I'ma keep going till I hit my goal. Better get back when I'm in my zone. Do it for the ones that I know back home. Did it myself, they ain't put me on. But you call back if you hear that song. Another level, another level, another level. We ain't never settle now. Nah. That was nice, little sweat. We finished that a lot quicker than we thought we did. I was thought sub 20, but we went sub 15, 14, 12. So we split everything up, all the machines and warboards, we did 10 10. And then the burpees kept a steady pace, and then we increased the pace to the last set. So yeah, Bradley smashed it, did really well. Like for me, I don't normally do team stuff. For me, getting a bit of a rest means I get more rest, so I'm fresher, so I work harder, which means it's bad for Bradley because then he gets less rest and we push the pace more on burpees. We're gonna do a little pump now. 10 straight pull-ups, 10 press-ups. I'll go, you go, five rounds. Yeah. All time this as well. So 10 rounds in total, five rounds each. 10 pull-ups, 10 presses. You can break up if you want. If you're going broken, going broken. Whatever you feel like you can do. Just make sure the quality of reps stay perfect though. No, we know this is going to be tough. You didn't know about this one. This is a little extra spicy one. Could we finish that so quick? I know, mate. That's why I wish I'd slow down. <laughs> We finished bang on eight minutes, so grab your partner, see if you can beat our time. Love it, mate. It. Boy! So, but how do you find that? Mate, that was a wake up call, I'm not gonna lie to you. That is another level of fitness. Enjoyed it though. Yeah, enjoyed, enjoyed it. Challenging myself. Start off with obviously teaching me how to snatch, so I'm gonna take that, uh, gonna work on that. Uh, so next time you see me, I'll be improved. Smash some big weights. Yeah, and then that that that, um, that session we did there was tough, mate. Yeah, that little partner workout. They yeah. smashed it, and then we finished with the uh, pull up and press up little which workout, which is a massive pump. I found tough, I guess maybe because I was so exhausted from the workout before. Yeah. 
but again, it was a good challenge. Just challenging your muscle endurance. Yeah, strength did really well. And just digging deep, that attitude, isn't it? Yeah, just, yeah. I've, I put myself in a hole pretty much every single day. Yeah. So you really build like a strong mindset and kind of push into the pain barrier. But yeah, thank you for coming on the channel. Mate, Where can everyone find you? If they want uh, to find me on Instagram, Bradley Simmons. I've uh, got loads of different workouts on there. Um, to help you guys build up your fitness levels to get to this man's level. Something I'll be doing. But make sure you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.